Hey everybody, Nick Tusig here with a quick message to all California Delta fishermen. If you fish the California Delta and you're watching this video and you aren't out here right now, you guys, what are you doing? It's the middle of April and the bite on the Delta is hot. Catching a lot of big fish right now and um, it's a great time to be fishing. So as you can see, unfortunately, you guys, I'm fishing out of the back of my car today so not everybody gets the opportunity to go out on the Delta out on the boat every time so I want to take this time to invite everybody out to Holland Track to come fishing with me if you're looking for that on a map look up Holland Riverside Marina and you'll see on your way out here there is all kinds of water to fish plenty of room for everybody I also want to take the time to invite you to the Lazy M Marina near Clifton Court Forbay. Okay, let's go fishing all up and down Italian Slough. You guys, it's great fishing. Those two locations have not only great fishing, they also got drinks and snacks and everything you need to enjoy a day out on the Delta. So come out, you guys. Um, with that being said, let's talk a little bit about what we're throwing out here right now and we're going to be throwing for the next few months because if you come out here and you're not prepared, this is what you're going to find. And you might be asking yourself, how the heck am I supposed to catch a bass in that? So for those of you who don't already know, the answer to that is a hollow body frog. Before I get into that though, a lot of you might be wondering why I make these kind of videos, why I'm giving away such valuable information, and the answer to that is quite simple, you guys. And if it's not posted on the bumper of your vehicle, then it should be. Alright? That's what these videos about. That's why we want to get people out here on the Delta, you guys. We need the support. If you haven't done the research already if you don't already know they want to take this water away from us they want to move it down south they want to put fences all around the delta so we can't fish in it anymore they want to take the fishing away you guys and um, you know if 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 we get out there and we show ourselves and uh, you know petition it it's not gonna happen that's the only thing that's gonna stop it you guys so with that being said let's get into the fishing you're going to want to come out here with a hollow body frog, okay? And if you ask me, I'm going to tell you, you want a snag proof. I love snag proof. That is my favorite brand when it comes to hollow body frogs. Um, quite simply, as far as I understand, they're the originals. Um, I grew up out here on the Delta throwing that original little smog, uh, the, the snag proof, the, the what's it called, the, the, mouth, the little mouth, moss mouse. So, you know, that naturally evolved into the frog and, um, you know, every, everybody else on the market just kind of um, copied it. So, not only is it a local brand, it's, it's an American brand. All these snag-proof frogs are made in America. Every time you buy one, you're helping support Americans, normal people, just like me and you, okay? You guys don't really want to go to the larger entities, the bigger corporate giants, the Bass Pro Shops, the online um, warehouses, and the Walmarts, that sort of thing, okay? You guys want to support a good company with quality people, and, and I promise you that's snag proof, okay, you guys? So um, I, I, I have no affiliation with this company, only an appreciation because they've made my life and my childhood a lot more enjoyable. You know, most kids grew up wanting a bicycle or a BB gun or whatever. You know, this is what I wanted growing up on the Delta. So with that being said, um, get yourself a pro model snag proof. Not all snag proofs are created equal. You want the Bobby's Perfect Frog in a half ounce or you want the Ish's Poppin' Fatty. It's a little bit windy today. I'm throwing the Ish's Poppin' Fatty today. So um, if you are not familiar with frogging, get on YouTube, watch some videos, inform yourself. And uh, you know, I'm not going to get too much into that other than the equipment. So what you're going to need is a 7-foot um, to 7.5-foot heavy rod with fast action okay you're going to want to use a high speed 
like a seven to five one reel, and you're gonna want 65 pound braid, okay, you guys? 65 pound braid might seem a little crazy to somebody, you know, trying to catch a 10 pound bass, but trust me, guys, you need it. You don't want lower than that because you'll break off. You don't want higher than that because it's harder to cast. 65 is what you want, okay? Um, what I like to use, I like to throw the iRod Fred's Magic Stick. I got my setup here for you guys, and uh, I pair that with a Lose um, Speed Spool. I use the, the heavy duty one, the wide, and um, today, like I said, I'm throwing the Issues Poppin' Fatty, Snag Proof Frog Always, and um, that's how we're doing it. So if that's not getting it done for you, how else we catch fish in this nasty stuff that you see behind me, you guys, is we uh, punch through it. This is a basically a really heavy um, Texas rig and what you're going to want is you're going to want to go out and get yourself a one and a half ounce tungsten weight. I use the river to sea trash bomb in either one ounce or one and a half ounce. Get yourself a nice mustad flipping hook or a new jack flipping hook like the one I got here. Okay. And you're just going to want to, I'm frogging today, so you're just going to want to rig your plastic on there. I'm using a zoom horny toad today because I'm frogging. I like to keep it froggy. So um, there's a couple of good ways to catch fish in this mess that you see that you'll find all in these areas. But if, if you commit to this kind of fishing and you come out here and you spend the time, I promise you guys, you will be heavily rewarded with the biggest bass of your life. Okay. They're out here and they need to eat and, uh, Go get them. So, with that being said, I want to invite you guys to get a snag-proof frog, okay? And get it in the right place. Out here on the California Delta, there's a few places that I like to support. When I buy my fishing stuff, I like to go to Delta Dan's in Oakley. Dan is a great guy. Okay, he'll put you onto some great products. Very fair guy and a fun guy to deal with. So, go see him in Oakley, California. Right down the street is another great establishment in Hook, Line, and Sinker, also in Oakley, California. Another great place. Another place to go out on Bethel Island is Delta Sportsman. They've fallen off a little bit, but I grew up out there on Bethel Island, and, you know, that's where I got my products growing up, and they're still out there today. So go take a look out there. Um, come out to some of these places, Frogfish, and... Uh, Enjoy the Delta because that, you know, that's what we want. And uh, it's very important, you guys, when you come out here, treat the Delta with respect. We, we you know, we want to take care of her. And with that being said, don't be leaving your garbage all over the place and be respectful to other people, etc. Come out here. There's enough room for all of us, okay? And um, long live the Delta, you guys. So, um, again, come out here and let's go. It's going to be froggy for the next five, six months. So, let's get it, guys.